Hello, welcome back to Sea Wolf's Den. I'm Crafting Ron. And I'm wasting no time. I've got this idea in my head. I want to tr try to explore it. This is that, uh, what they call it, the crawler or whatever from the Final Factions Karn set. And it's like a little chariot that wheels sit in. And I, I did it in my last video. Wheels go on this thing. And it's like a little trike type vehicle that uh, one of the creatures sit in. But I love the way this looks that way. And I see that more as a body to a creature. Now, these holes I want to fill in. And that's what this first part is, is I'm going to experiment with ways to fill in. I mean, I've got this thing that bothers me, but I think overall, I think I can get past... So I've got this divider here, past that, and, and just fill in. I don't want to put too much. The first thought was clay, like like cl you know, crafting clay. I've done a couple of crafts with, with clay, and in the end, it just creates too heavy of a monster. Um, that's really, I'm, I'm not really looking for that. Um, thought of other ways, maybe piece balls of foam and those just really didn't fit well though I will be using those for something else uh, I, I couldn't think of it you know like, like play-doh but that doesn't dry well it can crack so my thoughts were paper towel trick this is just an experiment I'm not I'm just gonna take one and, I'm, and if, if it works then I'll, I'll do it for real with another one but I want I want it to fit up inside here as best I can so that and I think it will look cool if these things kind of bulge out like like it's got a brain in there or, a, or, or organs popping out you know so what I want to do and I'm, you know I, I got a little bit of the towel texture but um, I think I can get rid of that with with hot glue and just kind of decorate it with hot glue. Um, my thoughts are to get this wet with water and then overlay it with, with Elmer's glue and it will harden around the plastic. So um, it doesn't necessarily have to fit on the plastic or adhere to the plastic. It just fits around it and becomes a perfect fit for the overall piece. So if I spray it with water. I'm just wondering if this will work and what issues am I going to have? We'll see what happens, but um, that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. Okay, so once I get that working, and assuming that it, that does, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that in another part of the video. I'm going to take these these bowls, and I got new sets of the the, the claws. I said I would go back and do. I, I, Use the coolest thing. So, battle ready, battle ready conversion kit. All right, I only need one of these. Okay. So I'm thinking about. Let's see. I'm gonna have to go get more of these at Walmart. But all right. So that's my idea here to. And what each one is going to sit in, I'm going to glue into, hot glue this into it. Each one will just sit inside kind of a socket. Make these a socket. Glue these in. Once the towel's already in there and hardened. These all will kind of sit together as sockets for the legs. And then, you know, I may have to 
glue them all together first. Like that. And then put a, place them there. And then put the legs in. And then it's going to sit like that as a big old nasty monster. And then this is going to come off the back. Or it's actually the front. There's a head. And I may, I may do more to that head. Maybe add some tentacles. Hmm. So it's going to go off here like that. It's going to be its head and, and then we have a creature. I think that would look pretty cool with legs and it's big and nasty. All right. Or I could do two heads. How about that? Oh no. Oh, that's wicked. I can do two heads. I think I might do that too. We'll see. Gonna have to cover up these these holes with something, you know, the very least hot glue, or I might have something organically looking that I could cover it up with. We'll see. But I just like this as the kind of the mouth, and and you know what, this can be the mouth, and we can put like teeth on here. That would be wicked if I put some teeth on this big mouth. Lots to think about. I can use forks like DM Scotty. Those would look good. But I'm trying to think of other places I can get teeth. So that's my plan. Hopefully this will come together. So the first step is to fill in those holes with that towel. Okay. We're going to try to work on this project. I've got this vision with these holes. I want kind of a membrane kind of pressing out of these with a towel. And I did the test and it worked and I've had tried this again with glue and it's not working. So I'm going to try one more time. To try to get this to work right. And maybe it's just the type of towel I'm using and I was using a different towel. I don't know. These are the cheap ones. I was using something else. I don't know. So we'll get it wet. So I had two bowls, one with water and one with Elmer's glue. The Elmer's glue was what I used to paint into the towel and with a soft brush push into the contours of the toy. I had the, the extra water in case the spray bottle wasn't enough or I needed a little more precision or I needed to wet down the brush. I continued to paint in more and more Elmer's glue. Eventually I poured some in and I saw that the weight of the glue, as long as I kept the crawler upright, the glue would weigh down into it and press into the contours of the toy, which is what I was exact, exactly what I was looking for. So did all that then took it outside, put it in another bowl that it just set in pretty well and took it outside and let it sit in the hot sun. That dried in uh, roughly a day and then we'd move on to the hot glue stage. Once it dried, I brought it back inside, grabbed one of those dollar store knives, and started cutting away the excess towel. Eventually I just tore it right off and used the knife to cut away whatever else I could. It glued inside the toy pretty well and gave me exactly what I was looking for, kind of a membrane sticking out, but I realized I'm probably gonna have to use hot glue a little more than I thought to really enhance this. All right, so starting another project that I'm gonna do another video on, number 11, episode 11, uh, over here with these legs, and we'll get into that later. Uh, I've got two things I'm adding to this thing. My hot glue gun's getting hot, I can smell it. 
Um, I have these snake tails. I want to add tentacles to it. So I kind of like how these look. So I'm gonna hot glue those in. Nice. And also I'm not liking back here. This is just, mostly just don't like back here. I thought about just kind of cutting much of that off and putting this back on, on top of it to cover it up. But now that I look at it, I'm not so sure that's needed. Maybe just leave it like that and then maybe just hot glue. Let's see, just fill it in with hot glue. All right, so let's go ahead and do the tentacles and they will, I hope that's hot. Be a part of that. Just love the fact that these tentacles just about fit perfectly in those holes. So. All right, after exhaustive search, I found what I was looking for. And I really felt like that this would work. And, and I'm going to go ahead. I think that works it's small enough. I may have to cut some pieces off, but I think that's, that works better. And that covers up my mistakes. We're going to cut off this and I'm going to glue that in just like that. Perfect. Perfect. Just kind of covers up the mess. The mess that this is that I knew would drip down. So I'm gonna cut this off. there and that mess is now covered up with another piece yeah and it's supposed to go on the back of one of the bad guys I guess but I think that I knew that would be perfect so we're gonna add in some tentacles and just a back piece to kind of give it a, a little more uniform look less messy Next part is really just to cover that up, and I don't know how I was going to use towels. Probably will. So, we continue with that one. I think that's almost done. Just got to prime it, paint it. I know I talked about doing teeth here, but uh, I'm, I'm good with the way it looks right now with tentacles. Back to this project, and I decided to change angles so that you can see better, I guess. I don't know. If, it, if I like it, I'll keep it. If not, do something else but um, a couple of dilemmas as I let this sit for a while and notice the legs really are not meant to hold this thing so I will need to put some support under it and I'm debating on using an old CD as my base which is not big enough but I can stick something underneath there support it there and these legs won't have to hold up so much weight which I didn't expect to be weighing that much this is foam and paper towels but the plastic itself is pretty heavy also these two holes that is they're bothering me a lot um and could have probably put another leg in there that's a lot of legs though so I'm going to heat this thing up and I'm going to melt what I put in there already and I'm going to put some more tentacles in there because in my game you can't have enough tentacles. Uh, it's a different snake. There's a dollar store snake uh, from I guess Karate Panda or something. Cut off his head. Love how it kind of... So I'm going to stick them in different angles um, as soon as it melts down. So we've got that. And I'm working on minions. So these guys took off the gun. They had this gun on top of it. Here it is. I took 
So I took off this gun and it just snaps right off. And I'm going to put something else here. I have parts left over from other miniatures. Uh, I think they were Starship Trooper miniatures. Legs from those arachnoids. I'm going to stick that down inside there and make it look like that. But I know that not everybody has access to that. Um, so I'm debating on maybe coming up with a more practical way to make these look cool. So anyway, I'm putting these on little stands and I'm going to have them on here so that they're like this guy. I already have one done. Uh, one of the other spidery guys. Put them on the can tops and that's their base and I'll paint it up and um, let them weight it down so they have... I just wanted something to weigh them down and hold them down on the table. But um, an old CD for this one should work. And I'm planning on putting some, some way to, to hold it up. And probably use some Woody's wood parts and a dowel. Stick the dowel up inside there, then cover that with some towels. So let's see if this is hot enough to get inside there. Yep, and I like the way that looks. Of course, it's tentacles. You know anything about me? I love tentacles. This versatile monster. Uh, appendage. There we go. A little much, I know, but um, perfect for my game. So. All right, on to the next stage. Okay, we're gonna start working on the support for this thing. Got my CD, and I got some woodies that might help here. Maybe not. Okay, so I've got this thimble piece of wood that might fit right underneath and just hold it up all I need. really well. So, here's what the, the base will look like. And what I'll probably do after I glue it is paint it before I put this one down. Flock it somehow. I don't know if I want to flock it or just... Uh... Alright, the catch with these things, they're smooth plastic and you really want them to be, you really want your glue to adhere. All right, so I still had enough Gorilla Glue to do this. It's a mess, but I'm gonna use that. I might stick with Gorilla Glue. I, I kind of like the way that adheres better than he 6000. All right, so that's gonna be our base. I'm just gonna mount it up like that. Uh, I might use hot glue to get it to stay, but now it doesn't have to rely on staying on the legs so much. Right. When I put the legs in, I really didn't consider all that, so that's on me. Okay, that's our stand. We'll go ahead and plan on that. I may still use this hole and then glue that in. How much do I think I need? Get right about. This, before I prime it, this has to be covered up with something, even if it's just Elmer's glue, hot glue, or something, or this will melt. Getting there, I'm gonna prime this one since I don't have to worry about foam.
a little bit of a disaster with my spidery guy. I left him in the rain while we were trying to let this dry out. I took off, forgot it was outside, and while I was dealing with other things, it rained. So it got wet, so I don't think it's too bad, and, and I, I used a hairdryer to really kind of dry it off and speed the process up a little bit. As soon as it's completely dry, I'm gonna do some hot glue around these joints to kind of make it smoothed out, make it look less of a towel and more of a... And then it gets primed on both sides, and we'll paint it up. I don't know what color yet. I don't know. It's not it's screaming some kind of dull beige or brown. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. All right, it's all primed up. And so I'm getting ready to paint it. Uh, kind of struggling with paint schemes, which like I normally do. I don't do paint schemes. I'm just not good at it. I just come up on the fly. I don't really plan it out. It's like these videos. I don't really plan them out. Well, in this case, I think I'm going to go with a light. I'm thinking about... Uh, the membranes, which after the painting or after the priming, I'm not overly thrilled with, but I'm going to try to make paint, make them stand out with paint. I'm probably going to do those like a darker green or one of these colors I bought recently. I was, bit, was thinking, I don't have enough of this. This is the, the, the color I was thinking of, and it's like a, it's called a Thrall Flesh from P3. So I'm looking to kind of simulate that. So I'm thinking about doing a linen color first and then kind of a, a wash of green and see if it comes out the way I want it to, and then I'll do that. As you can see, I've invested in some new angle type stuff for my videos and overhead camera, which I felt like might be better. The hard part is me seeing what I'm doing. And I'm like I said, I'm new to this, so I'm trying to figure it out. This is not anywhere near done. I'm still detailing it. And this is the color scheme I came up with. I mean, it just kind of flowed. Not entirely happy with it. And in fact, I'm not entirely happy with how these turned out at all. Um, I'm hoping that when I get the wash and the dry brush in there, that it starts to look okay. But for now, I'm just going to, you know, touch up some of this. I'm, I'm gonna go over some of the paint work I've done. Uh, I've got the base outside drying with some sand, some flocking, I'm gonna paint that. I went to the local game store, Carolina Tabletop, a little plug for my friends over there. Grab some paints. We have Underhive Ash, which wasn't all that great of a paint. Um, but this Layer Creek Khaki, that's what I ended up using in a lot of that. Used another Citadel for a lot of the detailing around the edges and around the ridges. De what does that say? Base Death World Forest, which I kind of like, which actually just turns out to be kind of a, an olive drab, which if I run out of this, I'll just fall back to olive drab. Um, it's still a mess. It is an absolute mess because I keep bouncing back between colors, but I was hoping eventually to get it on the stand so that I don't have to
All right, here it is. Um, spent a lot of time painting again. I probably could spend hours correcting this, making it, finding imperfections and trying to fix it. Um, I'm looking at it right now and I can see some stuff I want to fix under this light, you know, but overall, I think it's table ready and I'm, I'm happy with it um, reasonably. Uh, I got the top the way I wanted it to. I did some work on, on kind of a variation in color, as you can see. A little bit of the pinks and reds. And I like the mouth or, or whatever that is. You want to call it the mouth or the whatever we're going to use that for. Heads turn out good. Um, I like it on its base. I may not even glue it. I'm this maybe a two piece creature. But really happy. I'll probably post some pictures along with this. But um, project done. Uh, I'm trying to come up with a color scheme for its minions. And obviously, you know, the, the first instinct is to go with similar similar color schemes. But I don't know. I want to kind of I want to make it a little variations to it. So I, I was thinking about doing a little more darker creatures, but maybe not. I don't know. I'm, I'm debating on, on what, how, what direction I'm going to take it. And these are all the minions I have to paint. I'm kind of in the painting mode now. Painting is not always my favorite thing, even though, you know, it's really kind of why a lot of people do this, do this thing, this, this hobby. I'm just not good at it. I'm not great at it. I'm okay, I guess, but I'm not great at it. I don't feel like I am, but it's fun to see the end result. I was not happy with this in particular all the way up until the end. And, and I'm, I'm fairly happy with it now. So until next time, seek the wolf in thyself.